There's no doubt that hidden rooms are super cool. It's something I would always dream to have as a kid. So today, I made just that. But this all started because I wanted to solve a problem. You see, my parents are constantly blasting movies. And my sister's watching the same TikToks over and over again. So much so that I can't find a room in the house where I can escape the noise. So I need to make myself a soundproof room, no matter what it takes. So here's the plan. This is my parents' old office, and they don't use it that much. So I'm gonna use that as my blank canvas to make this room. Now, in order to get this project started, I had to replace the whole of the upstairs floor. Like, we're 15 seconds into the video, and I already spent over $8,000 just for this dumpster and to redo the floor. And we didn't even start on the actual room yet. I'm giving myself the next 12 days to finish this project. And that's because... Mom, Dad, I'm flying my friend Dan from the UK, and he's coming in two weeks. What? I'm gonna just make a extra extra room. Wait, Where? in the backyard? <laughs> that night, I spent countless hours looking at YouTube videos and tutorials, and I ordered everything I needed to do just that. I bought my first saw. This is probably the craziest project I ever got into because I have to learn about making walls and engineering stuff that I probably didn't listen to when I was in high school. So yeah, <laughs> let's let, let's get started. The lights don't work, nothing works. Got electrical problems. We're in the middle of construction right now. Ah! Mom, Dad, what do you guys gotta say about all this? It's terrible. You all out. This video is literally costing me more than I ever thought. And if you think things couldn't get worse, that was only the start. So when you do the, the framing, make sure that's like the most important because that's your base. If you mess up your base, then you're gonna have to start all over again when you're done. Well, you see that air bubble? It's not in the middle. And you see that face? That's a face of frustration because I had to spend an extra day to completely remove and restart back at zero making this project two days behind schedule okay so at this point i i really don't know if we could get this done on time i don't have building experience all i do is build ikea furniture and, and paint so i mean the logical thing to do is just to hire some people to help right Wrong. Because I actually asked a few contractors out last minute but just to do the walls they were asking for over twenty thousand dollars so we need to find someone else <laughs> i come back home from work <laughs> He's a mess again. Oh. And just like that, I think we might have found our person. <laughs> I need help. I can't do it by myself. I have to work my job and come back home and <laughs> work with him. You're going to kill me. Hey, I'm not 20 years old anymore. Yeah, you're 21. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Take muscles. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's currently midnight right now. Both of my parents are sleeping. I need to keep working because Dan is coming by the end of the week. So yeah, pretty much I'm gonna be cutting all the wood down here. Hopefully when I hammer the wood in, it won't wake them up. I just gotta get this done. I'm sorry, mom and dad, but uh, this has to get done. Try not to make noise right now. Mom, I need to get this done before Dan comes. Yeah, but we need to sleep, okay? So I had to come up with some solutions. So I sent my parents off to watch a show. And the following night, I sent them to the nightclub just to buy me some extra time to work at night. The nightclub right now. Oh, this is too nice. I could be as loud as I want. It just doesn't even matter. I could just yell. Ah! Yeah! Ah! I think I screwed over a thousand screws. And I don't know why, but every single time I close my eyes or try to go to sleep, all I can hear are the screws. Now the next day, it was finally time to do the one thing my mom absolutely did not want me to do. So, I'm doing it. I don't want the black plant on my window. Well, I'm still doing it anyway. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> She's just really scared that the room's gonna be too dark. But I wasn't gonna work in complete darkness. So I used my engineering skills to figure out how to turn the ceiling fan into an outlet. And look. It works! I'm a genius. Now let's just hope the house doesn't burn down. My mom's afraid I'm destroying her house rather than renovating it. And mom! I can't guarantee that. But what I can guarantee is that this is gonna be cool. Because not only did I find a bookcase door online. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, check this out. It's literally a door that's a bookshelf. But I can also guarantee that this room will be completely soundproof. I hope. This is how bad it sounded before we started. Very echoey. You could probably hear myself on. So we're gonna need some help, and here's how. I used to work at this cafe with my dad, and right next to the cafe, this crazy music studio opened. And I'll always remember walking into it and just telling myself, whoa, I need this for me one day. Which got me thinking, what if I just go and ask the same companies that helped make the music studio and see if they could help me make a soundproofed room? So I wrote a super intricate email to the same company that made the studio that I love so much. And to my surprise, we actually got a reply. But what's even crazier about all this is that they're subscribed to the YouTube channel and wanna help out, which eventually led to this. They effectively take the dimensions of your room, the materials of the 
the walls, the floor, everything, and then model that in a piece of software. Okay, I'm not a sound expert, but let me break this down. My guy Josh here sent my room measurements all the way to Portugal to the acoustic sound engineers. They worked their magic and came back with this 3D render of what the room will look like. And to make it easier to understand, they showed me this. Each green dot you see in this room is a sound particle. And without the acoustics panels, the sound just becomes super echo. But the moment you slap them on, the sound becomes nice and crisp. Now back to that call. To the left, we got my fellow French speaking man, Mikel here. And he was like, we love your videos and we want your room to not only be made with the best, but also sound the best. So how would you like it if we send you $10,000 worth of acoustic panel and a pair of focal speaker to help you make this happen? Dad, mom, I hope you're proud of that French accent right there. There is over $10,000 worth of stuff in here. Let's open. Bro. By the way, thank you to the Acoustic and Full Cow for hooking your boy up. I'm gonna leave a link for, for all their stuff down below. Now they gave us everything we needed to make this room sound the best, except they did say one thing. In order for my room to be completely soundproof, meaning people can't hear me and I can't hear them, the room needs to be like airtight and if I don't do it properly, then they pretty much said that all of this is just a waste of tens of thousands of dollars. So, yeah. It's cool, right? You should make a room out of candy like this. Anyways, I think it, it should be more soundproof right now. Ah! It's not. I just wanted to annoy my sister. I worked over 200 hours just to construct the actual room. And even though we got over $10,000 worth of free stuff, this video did still cost me over $20,000 to make. And when I said that to my friend, he told me something that I should have thought of before. You could be like renovating your own place. That's like a whole car. But you see, the problem with that is it's not a hidden room. But honestly, I think this is the coolest thing I've ever done to date. It's fulfilling the childhood dream I've always had. And this is really crazy thinking about it because this all started just because of a video where my parents told me to clean my own room. And since then, every renovation has been getting crazier and crazier. But I will say, there's still one thing that, that rubs me the wrong way. And that's because I can't get over the fact that I spent over $1,000 on this glue. Ah! I just finished ascending now onto the painting. Also, it is extremely dusty. Oh my god. Dance arriving tomorrow, which is gonna give us just over 24 hours to, well, make this room. We're gonna be cutting it really close because the quickest I've ever done a room renovation has literally been in two and a half days and I'm just giving myself just over a day to make this happen. So with that being said, first thing we need to do is paint. Right here, I have 50 colors to choose from. Yo. Can you do me a favor real quick? Can you pick a number one through fifty? One through fifty. Um, thirty-seven. Twenty-four hours left on the clock. Let's go, boys. Okay, so as we wait for all this to dry, we gotta run to the store. I'm gonna buy whatever it takes to make this room into the coolest thing ever. This is how crazy this room is gonna be. I had to go to three different Best Buys just to buy all the stock of the Philips Hue. I can't believe I just spent a thousand dollars on LEDs. And as for the gaming gear, well, luckily I've had this video idea for the past few months. So I actually bought a graphics card all the way in France and made this crazy six thousand dollar absolute beast of editing computer. Time for the goodies. We got our nice 4K monitor, microphone, even more lights. <laughs> More audio stuff, a gaming keyboard, and last but not least, a wireless charger. Now this is really cool because I promote only things that I actually use, like these Bessie shoes that sponsored the last video. I've been wearing these shoes every single day. They're super comfortable and waterproof. And in case if you ever wonder what type of shoes I wear, <laughs> there's a link in the description. But Anchor, this company that I have bought so many phone chargers and battery banks from, sent me this guy, the Anchor Maggo 623. Look at that. Oh my god. I didn't even know my phone could do that. It's like a small little soda can that charges your phone and also your AirPods. They got this guy in like four different colors. They go for like 80 bucks. This is part of their Maggo lineup. Their whole lineup is designed to adapt to your needs. Like this phone stand for your desk. They even got a power strip, car phone mount, and even a magnetic power bank. But yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this. Thank you to Anchor for sponsoring today's video and helping pay for this renovation to make this possible. Between flying out my friend Dan and, and just doing this whole renovation, it's costs a lot. Link is in the description if you guys want to cop one of these. Anyways, let's go grab Dan and show him. Cause it's about time. Yo! Yeah. You know what this means, man? You know what this means? You know what this means? He's actually pretty good. <laughs> yes, I told you, bro. Dan, have you actually wondered where you're gonna be sleeping tonight? Yeah, the floor. Well, luckily for you, I've been busting my ass off for the past two weeks, and I made you a room. What do you mean that you made me a room? That's for me to know, and you to find out. Oh, it's the Camaro. It's a garage. <laughs> oh, I remember editing that video. It's so weird. It feels like I'm in, like, virtual reality or something. Like, I can just... <laughs> 
Now, bro, I know this is really weird for you to take in, but before I show you your room, I have a little something for you. I know you've been complaining about your old laptop for the past few months now, yeah. and I didn't want to see you struggle editing on it while you're here, but, uh, I mean, just, just open your eyes, bro. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! How did you get this thing? Uh, it's a long, long story. Oh my yeah. god! Anyways, I got PS5. And as you can see, those cables are connected to this wall. Yeah. So no, no, no. That's my mom's room. That's my mom's room. Not in there. But right here, there's a bookcase. Oh, don't tell me. I'm sorry to say, but yes, there is a room in here. <laughs> oh my god. Close my eyes, yeah? Hey Siri, turn on the lights. Okay. Okay, Dan. Can I open my eyes? Yeah, you can open your eyes. Yo! What the? <laughs> what the? How is this? Oh my god! Dan, I know, I know you're freaking out about all this, so but bro, that's where you're gonna be sleeping on tonight. It's fine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and then we need to start editing. Oh no. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> very nice. Oh wow, he's like a studio music here.